Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. The major U.S. stock averages have paired earlier losses but remain in negative territory. On the final day of uh, trading for the month of September as well as the third quarter, I'm joined by Doreen Mogavera of Mogavera and Lee. Hi Doreen, thanks for joining me. Thank you Remy, how are you? Glad to be here. Well, in mid-afternoon trade, we're seeing that the stock averages have pared back from earlier losses. Now, we got mixed economic data from around the world, but what do you think is most important in today's session? Well, first of all, we're a very light volume day. This is um, a holiday week for those that celebrate Rosh Hashanah. And uh, I think that this is um, historically the way these kind of weeks go. We're very slow, and so we see a market that's a little bit more volatile. I think in all... The economic data that we've gotten out of the U.S. today at best has been neutral. There doesn't seem to still or yet be any reason for people to really commit on a long-term basis to the stock market. So I think you continue to see a lot of this drifting back and forth and mostly on uh, news-driven events, you know, kind of a headline reaction for a moment and then back and forth. Well, Doreen, speaking of headline-driven uh, markets, next week we'll get central bank rate decisions as well as that big U.S. jobs report. Do you think a lot of that is already priced in? Well, I mean, I, I think that I don't think the expectations for anything dramatically different than what we already know are there. So I think that to that to that extent it is. But of course, you know, we've seen surprises. Uh, so I think there's still an air of caution, you know, that we may see a surprise, and hopefully it will be a good surprise, not a bad surprise. So. Okay, Doreen. Well, starting from next week, we'll be heading into the final quarter of 2011, which is hard to believe. But what will you be paying attention to on the fundamental front? Well, I think, I mean, I think the core issues to the recovery still remain the housing market and jobs. We've seen today some consumer numbers. Um, personal income is basically flat to down slightly. Uh, most of the numbers are really neutral to not so good. So I think um, if that's any indication of how the fourth quarter is going to go, we're going to see a year end very similar to what we've seen in the last few weeks. Very volatile uh, people reacting to good news and bad both, you know, causing that volatility and probably not much of a change in terms of significant move, sustainable move in either direction, probably, to the end of the year. I think next year, first quarter is going to be interesting. Okay, Doreen, as always, thank you so much for your time and have a great weekend. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.